Hello everyone and welcome back to Art of the Heart. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a really cute hedgehog. Hedgehogs are definitely in the, my top 10 for cutest animals ever. What's the top cutest thing that you know of? Let me know in the comment section below. What are, what are your, what is your thoughts of the cutest things, animals in the world? Let me know. Sidetrack, let's get back on to the hedgehog. For this hedgehog, we're going to make a really simple shape. It's, I call it my dough ball shape. And basically what it is, it's a, a circle that has a little bit of a weight to it. So as it gets down towards the bottom, it kind of has, a, it flattens out at the bottom. So it looks like a ball of dough. Like if you are making bread or something and you put it down, you know, it's nice and round at the top and as it settles on the countertop, it kind of weighs down. A dough ball shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna be erasing this anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's, you know, if it's not, absolutely the way you want to or perfectly clean up, cleaned up or anything. All right, so the next thing we want to determine is which direction do we want our hedgehog facing? And I'm gonna have him facing over in this direction. So I'm gonna put in a circle down here for his nose, a large black circle. And then just up, up a little bit from that and to the sides, I'm gonna put in two circles for his eyes. And they're a little bit smaller than the rest of his body, the rest of his head. And his, which you can't really tell if his head from his body just kind of morphs into that shape. We'll be adding a little bit more detail to this in a minute. Now, very, very lightly, because we want to be able to erase this, we're going to draw just an outline coming up around his head, coming in almost under his eyes, and then back in out for underneath his body. And this is going to let us know where the, his spines kind of stop and his little fur starts. Now for this next technique, we're gonna make the spines and you're gonna push a little hard on your pencil so you're gonna get a nice dark line. If you want to, before that, you can take your eraser and just lightly erase your dough ball line so that doesn't show up as much. So right here where it kind of loops back in, you're just gonna put a half circle shape here and a little half circle shape right there for his ears. Okay, now for his spines. Now for his spines, you're just gonna start making this kind of up and down motion. You don't want it straight. You want to have it just a little bit curved and you don't want them to be all the exact same height and you know, want to put a little variance to it. And you're going to run that along this entire line. And you'll notice as I get towards the bottom, I, I shorten them out just a little bit. So we have this kind of punky outline. And then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another row in there. And what you wanna avoid is, is that you're just gonna go over the same line and have this white kind of going. So you wanna kind of, if there's a white line, that's where you want your new spike to go. And you'll also know I'm not making a complete straight line because I don't want to have that total like rows. I'm gonna make some of them a little bit longer, some of them shorter and help to get rid of that line. Okay, and again, you're just gonna keep putting these rows in here. As you get to this outline here, you're just gonna shorten them up so it doesn't go over that line. And you can even have a couple coming up over in front of the ear if you want to. But you're just gonna fill this in with these rows. Okay, once you finish that, if you feel like there is just that two, you know, like that row effect, just go in some of those places and push nice and dark and just add in a few extra lines in the middle of those rows. And then I'll break up that line a little bit. You don't want to totally darken out and get rid of the white because the white is kind of the shine of the, on the spines and as the spines turn into that white color. So you don't want to just shade that all in. But just put some random, spikes in there and that'll help to get rid of that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and look at his little face here. I'm gonna go ahead and darken in his eyes, but I wanna make sure that I keep a nice shine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-draw in the shine in my eyes, because I have very little shiny, little beady eyes. And then we're gonna fill this in with a nice dark, dark. Dark. 
And then for his nose, he has his nostrils, and they actually, you know, with dogs and stuff, you have the nostrils kind of towards the bottom. Their nostrils are kind of up towards the top and on the side. And so I'm just gonna put these circles up there. I'm gonna darken in his nose. Not my darkest dark, but it's pretty close to darkest dark. Right there. And then I'm gonna darken in the nostril part. Really get in there. I can put a little bit of shading inside of his ear. I'm going to kind of just very lightly go over the whole ear. And then I'm going to shade in the center just a little bit darker. That's going to push the center of the ear back and bring the edges out a little bit more. All right, now with my light, light hand, I'm going to go over top and I'm going to put in a little bit of fur. So I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase this outside line just lightly, so enough so I can still see it, but it's not, not boldly out there. And then I'm just like what I did with this technique, but with shorter wisp and a lighter hand, I'm going to create kind of a tuft going around. I'm going to also do that right in front of this ear here a little bit, and in front of this ear just a little bit. Now, if you want to, you can do that same technique throughout here, just keeping it very, very lightly. And what I would do is I would think about where I want my shadows and my highlights, and I'll add these wisps as shadows. So I'm gonna put some around the eyes to kind of push the eye sockets back just a little bit. And I think about the, the direction the fur is growing, so I'm not just doing up and down. I'm going with the direction of the fur. And I also want to bring this muzzle out a little bit, so I'm going to pull that shadow in around the muzzle here. So not right up against the nose, I'm going to leave a little bit of space. And the closer I put those lines together, the darker the shadow is going to be. So as I want to blend that shadow out, I'm just going to make those lines go out a little bit sparse. So you'll definitely see a difference in the line size and weight from here. Same pencil, I was just pushing much harder so I'm getting a thicker, bolder line. And this one, I'm pretty much using just the weight of the pencil with enough pressure to guide it. Um, and so I'm getting a really fine and light line, which is going to help me um, differentiate, differentiate, which is gonna help make the difference between the spike and the fur. So this part, you could just continue adding as much as you'd want, or you know, keep working with it, or call it good. Um, remembering just however much more time you want to spend with it, um, and time you take with it, um, the better it's going to be. And then last, I'm going to add in just some hints of his little toes, which he just has these little, very thin little toes. Kind of like a more like a rodent. Um, so if you look at like a, a mouse foot or a, a rat foot, I'm kind of like that nice claws for digging and scurrying and being cute and stuff. So there we go. Uh, if you want, you take the side of your pencil and just kind of very lightly drag that along the ground in a horizontal side to side direction, and it'll give him a nice little shadow to be sitting on. Push a little harder underneath him to give it a little bit darker shadow. And there we go, we have a really cute little hedgehog. So make sure to sign your name to your pictures when you're done with them so that you can give this away as a present or 
hanging up on your wall. Hopefully you enjoyed drawing hedgehog. We'd love to see your hedgehog. So make sure to post those to my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And I'll put all the information in the description box below. Make sure to tag me in those videos because sometimes it's really hard for me to find you unless you actually tag me in them. So yeah, that's awesome. If you like this picture and are interested in owning one, this one or one like it, make sure to head over to my Etsy shop. I'll have this picture along with several others up for sale um, so that you can own your very own cute little hedgy haul. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what is your top 10 cutest animals out there. I might have to do a top 10 countdown tutorial to the cutest animals out there because that just sounds fun and I like cute things. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks again for watching and join us next time for our next art video coming up real soon. Talk to you later, guys. God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.